What's going on everybody? This is Uncle Muscles and I'm going to be explaining really quickly uh, how I've overclocked my Radiant R9 Fury X with uh, MSI Afterburner and uh, Catalyst Control Center and I want to just run a benchmark with the overclock settings just to show the comparison of how the overclocking uh, is affecting the uh, settings. This is going to be run at Ultra just so you guys know, it's going to be running completely ultra MSAA uh, turned all the way up. Uh, everything turned all the way up to either X8 or X16, um, if possible. All right, so I'll just go over through the settings real quickly. So if you see here, it's uh, we see uh, the power limit settings. I've turned this up to 20. I just did that off the bat. Uh, probably people wouldn't recommend to do that. But I've already messed around with it a little earlier, in the, some of the earlier iterations of the driver, and I wasn't really getting good results. So I just figured, you know what, let me try it with 20%, let's see what happens there. And uh, I've actually had some, some decent results. Um, I've tried 9.5% uh, for the GPU. Uh, that actually rounds out to about 11.50. Um, if you actually look over in MSI Afterburner, it's actually clocked at 11.49. Um, I'm just sticky with the Catalyst Control Center right now. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, I'm not even sure if the one o'clock will actually make a difference uh, either way. So I'm just leaving it how it is. I put a 9.5% that rounds out to about 11, uh, 1150. And I've also noticed that if I try to go higher, if I try to go higher than the uh, than than uh, 550 for the clock settings, I don't really get anything. Uh, I get a little. Uh, like little red flashes all over the screen so it's not really worth it um these are some stable settings i found so far um i'm not recommending you guys try this uh I'm, and i'm also not even sure if this is officially uh supported by amd yet I'm not, i don't believe you can actually overclock within the catalyst control center you need to use the msi afterburner uh option there's another video linked uh, if you guys need more information on that but i'm just going to run through the uh the benchmark really quickly you guys can see the fps difference for yourself and uh, hopefully uh, you guys like the video. If you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe, guys. Appreciate the subscriptions.
too hard or do you Yeah, you, you should let me like tag that. that, baby. Yeah, that's all good. So that's it. There you have it. Um, there's not much of a difference in overall FPS. I think you get a little bit of a gain. It does average out to a little bit over 30, I would say. Um, that's just me eyeballing it. It's not me actually recording a, a recording every specific uh, FPS over over time. But um, <laughs> that's the worst way to phrase that. Anyway. Uh, there is an increase. You'll notice that it actually peaks out around 70 uh, FPS right uh, towards that last um, that last stage of the benchmark. Then also keep in mind that there is some stuttering there, and also I am streaming this, so it is going to come out a little bit uh, fluctuational, you can say. Uh, it's a little more so than you would see in uh, standard gameplay without a stream going on. But, I mean, it was pretty fluid, as you guys can see. Uh, I think that the, the overclocking definitely helps. But, uh, you know, i definitely rather some officially uh, released documentation on overclocking from AMD. I'd like them to, you know, come out and say that, you know, this is where you can take it. And, you know, we want you to overclock. And, you know, here's all the settings you need. But right now, as you can see, the most I can get is about 9.5% that boosts up to 1150 on the clock. And the most I can boost up to the uh, boost of the memory clock is about 550. So, uh, you know, it's not as much as I wanted for the memory clock specifically, but hopefully soon they will, uh, you know, still increase the, uh, the, uh, the capacity of the memory. So, you know, if you guys enjoyed the video, once again, thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe, guys. I appreciate it. And definitely check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles, guys. All right, have a good one.